Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the area of a rhombus and a kite. And the reason why we're doing a rhombus and a kite together is because the area formula is the same. So let's see if we can derive the area formula for both a rhombus and a kite by looking at the shape of a rhombus and a kite and dividing them into two congruent triangles. So let's look at what we have on the screen. Over here on the left we are starting with a rhombus. And notice that we have all four sides are congruent. There's our rhombus. And we have two diagonals here. So our horizontal diagonal we're calling diagonal number one, and our vertical diagonal we will call diagonal number two. So if we think about this rhombus as two separate triangles, so I'm coloring in this first triangle here at the top, think about the area of a triangle. So we would say that area is equal to one half base times height, okay? Well, for this triangle that I have shaded in red here, we would say one half and our base would be the entire horizontal diagonal. So that would be diagonal number one. And the height would be half of our second diagonal, right? Because it's only from here to there. So this would be half of diagonal two. So if we simplify this, we would say we would have one half times one half. So this would be one fourth times diagonal number one times diagonal number two. And that's for one of these triangles. And we know that we also have a triangle down here because that makes up our rhombus. So now we have two of these 1 fourth times diagonal one times diagonal two. So if we multiply this by two, this will give us our final area formula. So two times 1 fourth would be 2 fourths. So that would be 1 half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So this is our formula for the area of a rhombus. And the kite, just like we said at the beginning, is exactly the same. So we could do the same thing. So if we, if we look at this first triangle up here at the top, uh, we know that this is a kite because we have congruent sides that are, or excuse me, consecutive sides that are congruent, um, and we have our two diagonals here. So once again, for this triangle, we would say our area is equal to one half base times height. Our area would be one half, and once again, the entire base would be diagonal number one, and the height would be half of diagonal number two. So half of diagonal number two. So now we could simplify that to 1 fourth times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. And once again, to make our full kite, we have two of these triangles, so we can multiply this by 2. So 1 fourth times 2 would be 1 half times diagonal number 1 times diagonal number 2. So there's our formula to find the area of a rhombus and a kite. We just multiply the diagonals and then multiply by 1 half or divide by 2. So let's look at a couple examples where we do one of each. So we're going to start off with number 1 and we're going to find the area of this kite. So diagonal number one is five feet, diagonal number two is 11 feet. So we could say the area is equal to one half times five times 11. So the area is equal to half of 55, and the area is going to give us 27.5 square feet, okay? And for number two, we're looking at a rhombus, and we have our two diagonals here, 10 and 24. So area is equal to one half, make that look a little better, 1 half times 10 times 24. So this would be half of 240. So our area is equal to 120 square millimeters. Okay, and that is how you find the area of a rhombus and a kite. 